an early morning. It's 6.27 on the 13th of March. It's a Monday. It's 21 degrees, which means that anything that melted yesterday is now ice again. <coughs> 6 sunrise is at 6.49 and seeing that we have the moon there I guess we're going to have clear skies we still have some snow on the roof of the house I think the garage is pretty much done nope, we got some snow there The forecast for Tuesday, Wednesday has changed. The snow is going to stay further south. I think they said one to three for us, which sucks. It basically means the uh, snowmobile season is over. Tonight is the uh, monthly snowmobile club meeting. Uh, it's going to be at 6.30 because we have spaghetti left over from the fundraiser on Saturday. So spaghetti dinner this evening at 6.30 and then the meeting at 7. Tonight is election of officers. So I was elected I'm president of the club in the last year or the year before, I can't remember. <clears throat> Sends on a sense of something. Huh. But uh, my term is three years. So I'm not, my position's not up for election tonight. I think one of the uh, board of directors or trustees might be up for election. So we'll have that tonight. Clint is uh, very very active this morning. <clears throat> like he smells something. Or else he's got to go to the bathroom. Look at that sunrise, huh? Well, last night when we went out, the road was still mud. But thankfully, they firmed up. <clears throat> uh, check the cell cams this morning. The Northeast one had sent me six pictures of nothing. It wasn't windy yesterday, I don't know why. There's clearly nothing in frame. And the other two had nothing. Just the test pictures. I don't uh, remember them ever going this long without seeing some sort of critter. And Flynn is right on that damn scan again. He's got a market. Uh, yesterday we wanted to go to town 
Unfortunately, it being Sunday, I couldn't get my... Now we get some erosion here, huh? Couldn't get my ethanol for gas. I could have got it at Dysart's, but they charge you a premium for using your debit or credit card. Oh, but <clears throat> so we uh, we want to go to the uh, dollar store in the Hannaford, and uh, Hannaford didn't have good corned beef, so we went to steaks and stuff where she got corned beef. She got a head of cabbage at. Hanford, but it was a tiny one. Fortunately, there was a nice head of cabbage at steaks and stuff. So, we have two heads of cabbage. We'll have the big one with the uh, corned beef on Friday. Should probably use a small one to make it a uh, batch of stuffed cabbage. Or uh, Gwumpke, as Polish people call it. Don't ask me how to spell that. I've looked it up several times, but I can't remember. Uh, going out, we went uh, up North Road. Guess we want to stop by. The, uh, Rick and Debbie's place, drop off something. And, uh, <coughs> and we're down Tar Ridge. Come on, bud, what are you looking for? I don't see any tracks. Pretty sunrise. I feel like gave a hint of a breeze. <clears throat> I did get diesel. Uh, Smith's surprisingly was cheaper than the uh, the Gulf Station I normally go to. The Gulf Station was still 505. And Smith's was five dollars. But I bought it in Dysart in Lincoln because this was also five dollars. Uh, but Dysart has the uh, the squeegee. So I got to clean the clean the back window on the truck, which I hadn't cleaned in a little while. And it took me four attempts to uh, <coughs> wet the dirt and get it off. But I probably had a clean back window. 
I actually thought about pulling out a hose because it was 40 some odd degrees and rinsing some of the dirt off the truck but the ground is saturated from all the uh, snow melt and even at 40, 40 degrees hold the hose the hands get cold pretty quick <coughs> So uh, you might have heard about the Silicon Valley Bank going into receivership. I guess that's what they call it. The Fed took it over because they were bankrupt. And uh, turned out they focused more on being woke than hiring people that knew what they were doing. Good job. The uh, FDIC still has insurance on up to 250000 but in these days, $250,000 for insurance for companies that are, I mean, one, one person was saying she didn't know how she was going to make payroll with the bank closed. Uh, and if you got... Uh, I don't know how big her company is, but if you had 200 people, 200 people working there. And you can't draw more than $250,000. And I don't know when the uh, FDIC is going to get them that money. Uh, go woke, go broke. So it looks like you're running out of reserves there. <coughs> oh boy. Now, on my ATV, I have a, what they call a lounger. A seat for a second passenger. That's on my uh, Sportsman 500. On the uh, Scrambler XP. It's got a smaller luggage rack in the back. And uh, <coughs> I thought I could get a lounger for that. The lounger doubles as a storage box for like your lunch or uh, tools, toilet paper, whatever. But uh, I had I googled it and it had links for a uh, lounger for a uh, scrambler slash sportsman. So I thought I can get it, but if you click through the link, it gives you a drop down to uh, check fitment. So if you go through the process of specifying your your ATV, it says, nope, there's no no lounger for a Scrambler XP. So, I'll probably have to get a soft pack. It's not a lounger, just a storage unit. <coughs> and, uh, I was tempted to order the fender extensions, but uh, I don't know how long it's going to take. Plus, there was a uh, 
big difference in price. One was uh, 139, the other was 249. But yesterday when I looked, it was on sale, twenty dollars off for 229. <clears throat> I have to uh, see if I can get both up on the screen, do a side by side comparison. <clears throat> I'm flowing we went too far. Oh boy. Well, if all goes according to plan, Eli's cousin will be up here next Monday, the 20th, or thereabouts. He's coming in from, I guess, Minnesota, I think it was. Or Wisconsin, I can't remember. But he had been in Maine, but he moved out there for some reason. Now he's coming back. Wasted more time on Twitter yesterday. I was looking at something, and uh, somebody was saying that Obama was one of the greatest presidents in the country's history. I uh, called that person out to task, showing him uh, <coughs> some of the, some of the things he did. He lied about the Affordable Care Act. He lied about spying on President Trump. He lied about the IRS targeting conservative groups. Uh, Lois Lerner, who uh, refused to answer questions and ultimately was held in contempt of Congress. And then resigned from the IRS, was able to retire from the IRS, not resign. She was able to retire with her benefits in the IRS, even though later the IRS settled with the conservative groups for actually targeting them. <clears throat> fast and furious, Obama's fast and furious with Eric Holder, the Attorney General that was holding contempt to Congress for refusing to provide information about fast and furious. So, Not sure how the whole thing got kicked off. I, th I thought it was about Obama, but it was another thing about Jim Jordan trying to subpoena people. And uh, Eric Swalwell, the guy who slept with a Chinese spy. And uh, Adam Kinziger, the rhino who uh, sided with Democrats and lie about Russia collusion on January 6th. He was on the January 6th committee. Uh, where am I going with this? Uh, anyway. Oh, um, Jim Jordan is saying it's uh, hypocritical for him to be subpoenaing people and he refused to comply with the subpoena. Uh, for, for the January 6th committee, but 
if you look, Jim Jordan wrote a, a, a five letter, a five page response saying why he wasn't going to go uh, participate in the, the partisan hoax. I read the five pages and I agree with what he says. Steve Bannon, who was uh, something to do with Trump's campaign, uh, didn't comply with the subpoena and they held him in contempt and he's probably going to go to jail. So, Steve Bannon goes to jail. Why didn't Eric Holder and Lois Lerner go to jail? And I uh, can't remember the QAnon uh, uh, Shaman. Chanley, I think his name is. He's a uh, military veteran who was uh, a little wacko, but he was escorted through the uh, Capitol building by two police officers, Capitol Police officers. Nonviolent, he was carrying the American flag the whole time. Uh, at one point, there were nine armed police officers around them. They did nothing. There were seven that were there, and the two ones that were escorting him. And uh, <coughs> When he did get into the Senate chambers, he uh, said a prayer, thanking the, uh, thanking God for the officers allowing him to uh, go through the Capitol. But yet, he is in prison for four years for terrorism. Yet the video shows he was not a terrorist or a violent terrorist or any, whatever they're claiming. <coughs> And uh, the video that Tucker Carlson showed, the uh, QAnon shaman's lawyer had never seen that video. He was uh, he was not given the video by the, by the trial uh, prosecutors. <coughs> So they chose to uh, keep evidence away from the uh, defense. So there's a uproar now about that and calls for releasing, uh, I can't get his name right. You know who I'm talking about, the guy who had the, the uh, buffalo horns on and the red, white, and blue painted face. thing of Obama with Syria. You might recall he went, uh, he was trying to play tough, hack tough in front of the world. He made a statement that if, uh, Al-Bashar of Syria crossed the red line, there would be repercussions. And then when Bashar did that, Al-Bashar did that, Obama carried away from his statement saying, well, it wasn't my red line. Obama was only elected because he was the color of his skin. Single term junior senator, community organizer that because he was black people voted for him and his lies. Now I remember why, uh, why this whole thing came up. Uh, 
<clears throat> I'm not going to go into that. Because I'm walking on crunchy snow and you're not going to be able to hear it anyway, so. Oh. Uh. Uh. <clears throat> I'm thinking of bagel this morning for breakfast. I didn't have pancakes yesterday. Had a toasted corn muffin. That's very really good. Really had the toasted corn muffin too. Oh, I see my my gloves are running low on battery because I can feel I can feel the left hand getting a little bit chilly. Brian Terry is the uh, Border Patrol officer that got killed because of Holder and Obama's Fast and Furious. Come on, he was killed with one of the guns that uh, they allowed to get purchased in, uh, I think it was Arizona, and walked across the border to uh, the Mexico cartel. And uh, I don't know how many Mexican police and civilians were killed for the guns. <clears throat> they were never held responsible for it, Holder and, and uh, Obama. Just like Benghazi. Obama lied about Benghazi with Clinton. He did a regime change. Uh, uh, I can't remember what his name was. Oh, Muammar Gaddafi. They asked if Muammar Gaddafi got him killed. And they were running guns through Libya. Not just guns, but weapons. Running them through Libya and to Turkey and actually arming ISIS before ISIS became the thing it became. <clears throat> Obama said it was a YouTube video that caused a spontaneous riot, which was a, a lie, but they pushed that lie for, they probably still pushed that lie. So he's the worst president we've ever had. Followed uh, closely by Biden. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching.